Well today I'm going to show you a special truck in our town. This was made out of some uh, spare parts we had using the large new style fenders combined with the a little bit more traditional look on the front. So before we start looking at that truck let me point out that our new website is available and you can go there for all sorts of interesting blog entries and I uh, will appreciate your support. All right, This truck is your basic flatbed truck. It has a, a very traditional look to the front. It's four wide, of course. And uh, you could box this in and make it like a, a box truck. And it would look very good that way. We're using one of those new style roof pieces, which I think works really well. And uh, it gives us a place to put a, a high mounted brake light. And of course it has the traditional kind of a look to the back end as well. And then those are our exhaust. Uh, fastened onto the bottom there. And the main thing about this truck is that we uh, we ended up having a, a weird number of these pieces, these new style fender pieces, and we wanted to use them somehow. And this was a way we were able to use it. And I think it I think it looks pretty good. I think it kind of gives the truck a, a heavier look on the back, like it could carry more cargo. And uh, it, it it generally fits in town very well because it's not really any wider than a regular truck. And it's uh, something the kids had a lot of fun hauling stuff around. Uh, and like I said, it, it would work very well as a box truck version if you wanted to use panels to enclose the bed here. Or any other variation for that matter. Okay, this is not an in-depth tutorial, but you'll be able to figure out how to build the truck from this. So this is the basic chassis. It's, uh, let me think there, it's about 10 studs, wide, 10 studs long. You're going to put the wheels at the extreme end. You're going to prop them up with an extra spacer in there. Uh, we get a lot of questions on how these, these wheels change colors because we did them on our bus as well. It's, it's really very simple. The old style wheels like this uh, have a stud in there. So get yourself a, a little round stud and you can make your wheel hubs any color you want. Now, a little bit of red shows through but that's okay. So that's the basic chassis. I'm going to set that aside for now. Okay, the upper part of the bed is very simple. It is also a 10 stud long piece, 4 studs wide, it's just one big plate. Uh, you could do this with any combination of bricks is necessary to fill in a 4x4 four four chunk at the back. And that is all there is to the top part of the bed. Alright, this is the bottom part of the bed. Now you could do this a couple different ways. Uh, you, you can use a um, a 2x10 on the bottom or do what we did which is to use a 3 plus a 6 to get a 9 and by doing that when you put it together you get that that lip on the back. If you did a, a 2x10 it would simply um, match up and the taillights would be even with the back. We're using 9 and uh, we use slope pieces because that's what we had extra. You could use anything you wanted. And then, of course, those fender pieces sit on there by themselves. And your taillight assemblies fastened on like that. These little pieces here are just to give it a little bit of trim, which you'll see when we mount it onto the bare chassis. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're going to snap the top part of our bed on. And, uh, and there's where you can see that if you had uh, a 2x10 here, it would just move those headlights closer to the edge. We, we like having a little bit of a lip there. I'm going to bring out our rolling chassis. This is real simple. That notch there, you just line that up with the back of that chassis and uh, fasten it down. Just like that. Now again, if you used a 2x10, you would want to use uh, another spacer in here so that that came out even. Alright, let's look at the cab. Like I said, we're not going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on every piece here, but, but here's your basic uh, beginning of the cab. It has the normal chassis piece. We've put a push bar on the front of it. Uh, this particular one only has one functioning door because we don't have an extra black door for that side. You don't really need it. It looks the same when it's closed anyway. It just doesn't have the handle. So there's a door on this side and this is a one by one uh, yellow to fill in that. Steering wheel goes straight on the chassis piece. Uh, the front assembly, you could do this either way. You can either put a yellow piece down, down here and move the headlights so that the, you don't have that notch there. 
or you can do like we did and just make it all black. And uh, there's a, a one by four plate on top here. You can either put it above the headlights and the grill or um, uh, below it. It works either way. It just gives you a different look. Of course, you can do round headlights, uh, all sorts of grill things you could do to change that. But that's your, your basic starting point there. The back wall of the cab uh, really couldn't be simpler. It's uh, one by four pieces with a one by one block and then there's a clear one here. Uh, you would want to make sure that this matches your windshield. It doesn't on this particular one because we changed the windshield recently. And then on top it's a one by four plate and that just snaps on there. And that's why you can see why we used that one by one here so that when you open the door it's all yellow. If you put black there to accentuate this fender notch, then um, when you opened it, you'd, you'd have two different colors there, which we didn't like. Okay. For the top, it's really just a windshield with one of those roof pieces and a one by two uh, plate put in there that's in that tail light color. And that all fastens together. And much like a real truck, you just roll it in and drop it on and there's your flatbed so uh, there's your flatbed truck thank you for watching please check back for updates and remember to go to our website bricksburg.com for blog updates and pictures of what's going on around town thank you